Hey guys, what's up? So, I figured I better start filming some of this stuff since we are going to keep on building this truck and doing a bit more with it, getting more involved on social media and YouTube and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, one of the issues I have with this truck is obviously coming straight out of the army. It has the pintle hitch hook. And obviously not many trailers these days have a pintle hitch. If I do buy one of the Hallmark PT2s, then it won't be an issue. So what I've done is I got on good old marketplace and I found a tow pack, a tow hitch mount for a Land Cruiser, an old Landy. Now you can see here, so what I've done is I've just cut it to size and I've just tack welded it together. Now I'm not a very good welder, so this is all a bit of trial and error, a bit of experimentation. And it's actually worked out pretty well. It's got a lot of bite here with the overlap. And I've just got a piece of 10 mil 150 by 120 there to weld onto the top there. And what this will actually do is it'll bolt to the bottom of the chassis rails up under here. You can see. And then that big steel plate will mount just over this position here. We'll drill the holes back and I can put the pintle hook back on. And then underneath here, I'll have uh, the hitch for a normal trailer hitch, which will be great. And so, I mean, this whole little project, I get to practice my welding because I'm not very good at it. Like I said, uh, I've only had a few goes at it. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't pay me to do my welding, put it that way. And I'll put this together. And I mean, look, I picked this uh, tow hitch off up off marketplace for 40 bucks and a couple of welding rods and just uh, an afternoon after work and we'll see how it goes and we'll see if we can get this thing together. Stay tuned. Cheers. Not bad. Alrighty. Let's have a look at that. Ooh. Oh. I don't think that's actually not too bad. Getting better. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. this one Ooh. Ooh. I think that's not too bad too bad not bad for a first go uh, 
Okay, so just got home from another day at work. Spent another afternoon out here in the shed, getting this thing welded up. Got the uh, the mounting plate on there, and I've just spent the last half an hour or so drilling out those holes. Um, go straight back to the chassis. And it's starting to get pretty dark before, but some of these welds out of the steel. not too bad but not bad for a couple of afternoons work we're winning all right day three on this little project look at those welds they're actually pretty good for a beginner might have to clean up a couple of those ones Ugh. maybe a little hole at the bottom of that one there to fix up but the most important welds, these are just little covering plates for the holes. Those most important welds, which hold it all together. They look pretty thick, solid. Sometimes I surprise myself. Okay, so uh, Saturday morning, day three of this little project, and I think we've done the welds. And you know what? I've done a triple weld in these seams because they're quite deep. And I think I started, welds weren't the best. As this little thing came together, you can see I'm actually starting to improve. So I'm pretty excited today. I've just given them all the buzz back and they're all looking pretty good. So I'll give this a coat of paint and while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'll drill the holes on my on the back of my truck and work out how that's all going to mount. And we'll get this baby on. Hehehe. <laughs> Okay, so coat's going on. Your beauty. So I'll try and get as many coats on that, maybe three, four, five coats, just to keep it nice and protected. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I've got to get under the chassis rails here. <laughs> and I've already marked one hole there, and I'll just put one here. So this is going to be fun to drill out because all the heavy metal is going to be, hot metal is going to be falling on top of me. <laughs> While I wait for the fourth or fifth coat of this to dry, <sighs> there's another problem which, after speaking to a few other guys, 
apparently is kind of common in these trucks. And that is, not every truck has the problem, but this one certainly does. That is the center wheel bearing here. Where are we? There it is. It's a little bit tight. And this intermediate shaft, to, to bolt this center wheel bearing on, you've got to push it very tight up against the tail shaft here. So you get this scrubbing. I mean, this is a brand new center bearing. And apparently, speaking to a few other guys, they've got the same problem. So what I'm gonna do is take this off and I have some 10 mil by 50 mil flat strap and I'll drill some holes out and maybe put like a M12 40 mil weld those flat into there so it adjusts so i can adjust this center wheel bearing and i'll drill some holes in there and then mount that to this cross member on the chassis so looking at that that flat strap there is about 20 mil this is 10 30 so i might get a M12 50 mil to bolt this flat strap to the chassis rail here. And then I'll have new bolts that come down for the center wheel bearing welded into that flat strap. And then I can adjust this, maybe bring it back five mil so it sits neutral on the chassis rail. So I don't have all the pressure pushing the rubber housing on that center wheel bearing and causing it to scrub, causing it to wear out prematurely because really this whole thing needs to be set back about five mil and then it will sit neutral. And then obviously the uh, prop shaft on the rear, that's telescopic. So it shouldn't really affect that at all. And if anything, I'll bring that down, that whole thing down 10 mil. And I don't think, if I bring this whole assembly down 10 mil, I don't think that's gonna affect the angle of the prop shaft too much, but it will certainly make the mount for the center bearing here sit more neutral and I can't see why it won't, why it shouldn't work. So pretty new welding, but let's give this a go. Okay, I don't know if you can see this very well, but you can see where the where the center wheel bearing wants to sit naturally in a neutral position is actually five or ten mil back from where the bolt is. So in order to get that on the bolts, you need to put pressure on the wheel bearing housing to bring it in. So that's actually under tension now to bolt in. So if I mount my plastic strap, my 10 mil strap here, and mark where this will go neutrally and weld some bolts into it. Not only will I bring my center wheel bearing down 10 mil, 
but it'll take that pressure off that housing and you shouldn't get this scrubbing problem which oops from what i hear it's quite common so i'm going to cut these bolts out clamp that strap up mark where this sits neutrally mark the holes out drill them out weld them in get another bolt to bolt the strap to the chassis and that should take all that pressure off but i might even get a new center wheel bearing and keep this one as a spare even though it's only done less than 600 k's from brand new but i think it looks pretty shit from now on here we go Remember the last time? I got you to... Yeah. If you pass me this thing... Oh, it's nice and warm. The welder. The thingy. Sweet. You go there. Let you go there. Cool beans. Oh, what's your voice? Sup. You got it? Yeah. You want to just put your balls in my mouth? While... I, I, was, I was honestly going to do it. I was going to ask first, but fuck it. I'm not fuck just... it, just do it. I'm not just... Wow. Open your mouth. Wow. <laughs> oh, is that, is damn. That, is it, who does... Wow. Fucking weird. You know what I've just realised? Hang on. Down there. I think I need to... Put these back on first. My bad, back down she goes. Like how low? Uh, you can go right. Like let go of it? Yeah, no, no, just leave it like that, like that, yeah. Big knob job. This goes here like this, right? Shoot. And these go in here like this. Is that in the right position? It looks pretty fucking pushed up though, it doesn't look. Yeah, can you feed that through? Should be able to see. Tell me where that tell me where this look, take that off. Yep. Oh I see. No, no, it needs to go miles up. Uh, yep, just try to keep it there. What about this one? No. It's Whoa, baby! So this is like that. Oh! That is like a bought one. And those go there like that. And they go there like that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. They can stay loose for a minute. Have you had to do anything to the engine to like... Because there's well, a, lot of, a lot of weight on this fucking truck, man. Mate, it's still, it's still under GVM. Well under GVM. But, still got over a ton. It's only 700 kilos of weight so far. Yeah, okay, shit. So the... 
truck is three and a half ton. Yeah. <coughs> I had it on the bridge. Yeah. <coughs> Empty and it was four two. That was with spare tires and jacks and everything still on board. So that's where's my socket? Is there a socket up there? Big spanner. Yeah. Sweet. So oh man. This is sweet. Oh. Like, this is like a little orgasm for me. Like, the fact that it's all gone together so well. I, mean, I shouldn't talk so soon. I'm going to jinx myself. Can you here. wait there for a seat while I go for a wee? Yeah, man. Can you pass before you go? Can you pass me that camera? Please, yeah. kind sir. The camera, camera, this one? Just tell me the whole tripod. Look at that. Oh. It all just fits. Bolts line up. Everything lines up. Mm, mm, mm. It'll be okay. Fingers crossed. These ones line up. Oh, it does. Your beauty. Look at that. Look at that. Alrighty. Obviously, it all needs to be done up, and then I'll put a big bolt through the side there. And we're nearly done. Just getting some silicon. Because I've put some holes in the chassis I don't want. Any rust around those holes. Pull me over time. So I'm just trying to get some silicon around those holes. Luckily, sponsored by the very helpful team at Roofline Solutions. Sponsored this beautiful tube of roofing gutter silicon. Should not get any water coming through these holes I drilled. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. got those in the last bolts to go in got four up into the chassis and you can see some nice the seal of glue in between the the tow hitch and the chassis rail so hopefully it solves any problems with that they're all bolted in nicely, but I'll tighten them up. And the last thing to do will be to swap these pins for a big M20 there, which means I just have to get my drill bit and step drill out those, which I thought would be best to leave them until the, the tow hitch was in. So I think that will be solid as the rock of Gibraltar. And even that. Probably just buzz that back a little bit, but I've only had to take two or three mil off that. And there you go. Toe hitch done. Sweet. <laughs>
Alrighty, and that is it. Another good day's work and we are done here. I mean, I'm actually really, really happy with how this thing came up. I mean, I was quoted, um, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars. And so with a bit of uh, ingenuity and some elbow grease, you know, I've gotten away with building this and making this for much less than a couple hundred bucks, really, and a, and a few hours of labor. And I'm, look, I'm no welder. So I'm actually pretty happy with myself and the welds because, you know, like I said, you've seen the whole process. Um, the structural welds here, they're all triple seam, triple welded. There's a triple seam on those and um, yeah, I'm stoked. Like everything just fits perfectly. Like the best spare wheels back up there. Spare wheel sits up and around those, the welds nicely. There's 10 high tensile bolts um, holding this thing together, up, down, north, south, in and out of the chassis chassis rails and everything sealed in nicely. So I'm just, um, even these M20s here on the end, they're as solid as the rock of Gibraltar, so I'm stoked. And uh, look, you know, I'm, if you've enjoyed this video, then great. I thought I'd just try and put this one together because there's not a lot of these six, six by six um, Parentis driving around with a, with a rear tow hitch. They all have to be, get, be custom made. So this one was, that's how I did it. Maybe you can do the same to yours. But if you enjoyed this video, I mean, I'm just a guy having a crack and just, just trying things out. So, you know, if you want to pick on my wells, if you want to pick on my work, if you've got any suggestions on how I could do things better, then just leave a message in the comments. But, uh, and if you do like this video and like watching me do these things on the truck, like I said, I'm no expert at anything. I'm just a guy having a crack. So if you want to see more of this sort of stuff, just yell out and I'll um, see what I can keep putting together but i'm absolutely stoked with that now i just got to go find myself a trailer for my motorbikes to tow it i mean i'm stoked but anyway thanks for watching this film and i hope you learned something and got something out of it so thanks guys you enjoy the rest of your weekend cheers morning team day four of this crazy adventure so over the weekend i spent a bit of time getting the uh tow hitch all sorted out and you know, needed a trailer, needed a new project because that one had come to an end. So now I'm here with Rafferty and Angus and these guys have been good enough to sell me their old camping trailer. Have a look at this thing. Four wheel drive tires, it's got disc brakes underneath, big long draw bar. So we can take motorbikes on the front. It's got a big toolbox at the front. And these guys, how many camping adventures have you guys been on? Oh, yeah. Heaps. They got heaps of family mem memories in this thing, so they're really stoked to see it go to a good home. And I promised them I'm going to give it some love and make it into a really awesome motorbike trailer. So I better keep my word to them and make another video making this thing, transforming this tra old trailer into something usable again. So stay tuned. I'll make sure I put something up on that. But thanks, guys. Thanks for telling me some of your family's history. I look forward to, to making it into something special once again. Cheers, guys. Have a great day.